Why do smart people fail? Why do they fail? In this video, we're going to talk about several reasons why smart people fail. I actually made a list and I thought, oh, I'll make this video and I'll go through the list and I'll talk about these things. And these are really, really good reasons why smart people fail. This, this can change your life. This can genuinely change your life. But for now, let's just forget the list because there's one reason that smart people fail. It's bigger than anything I'm gonna discuss in this video and it's fear. Smart people fail because they're afraid. This is true for everyone in general, right? I mean, fear is a very strong emotion and it holds people back. You might say, well, I'm, I'm not afraid. There's probably a lot of things that you want to do in your life and you don't do them, right? Ask yourself why. A lot of times when you do that, what you'll do is you'll say, oh, well, I can't do X, Y, Z because I, I, don't, I don't have this or I can't do that, you know, or I don't have any money or um, I don't have a car or I don't know anyone. Or, you know, there's, there's always an excuse. But the reality is excuses aren't going to help you. Only you can help yourself. You need to stop being afraid and do what it is, do whatever it is you want to do, right? Whatever it is you want to do, stop being afraid and do it. That's, that's the biggest thing when it comes to failure, right? Is people are afraid. Some people are afraid of failure. Don't be afraid to fail. Failure can be a learning process. So stop being afraid. Now I promised you we would talk about several things and several reasons why people fail. So let's get right to it. The perfectionism trap. This is something that I have seen mainly in the smartest people, like the top students have this issue. And there's nothing wrong with being a perfectionist, but just know that it can be detrimental and it can hurt you. Smart people tend to want everything to be perfect. So let's relate this to mathematics. Again, you can spend way too much time on certain problems if you want everything to be perfect. Right? You can spend way too much time studying a certain topic if you really want to master it. Instead of saying, hey, wait a minute, I have this many hours, I need to get this done, I need to get this done, let me budget my time, do whatever it takes, and do the best job I can to learn all three of these subjects, go to class, go to the gym, and then hang out with my friends. You know, prioritize everything in my life, get it all done. Stop being a perfectionist. And it's hard to do that when you're used to succeeding, when you're trying to get hundreds, you wanna be perfect, but just don't let it interfere with your success. Smart people sometimes try to define themselves by how smart they are, okay? Some people like to pretend they're smart or they like to show off how smart they are. You know, they'll use big words or they'll, they'll talk about things that they think are smart just to come across as being really intelligent. <sighs> I used to know this guy, he used to tell me that when he worked at a bookstore, I, I don't know if this is true, but this is what he told me. He told me that a lot of the people who would come into the bookstore, they would buy these you know, books and, and they would just try to act smart. That, that's what he told me. I don't know if it's true, but I, I could see that. And I've known people who are like that, right? They just think that, oh yeah, I'm really smart. And they, they try to like portray that in some sense. It's not a good way to be. <laughs> so it's not a good way to be. Smart people often succeed and they succeed early. In fact, most people who are really good at math, for example, in college, they were really good at math in high school, right? These are people who their whole lives, they've been good at math. Maybe their parents were math teachers. So you have these students who are awesome and they're walking into a classroom with other students. And so you look at these people and you think, whoa, whoa, they're so good. Not necessarily, they just have a better background than you, right? doesn't mean they're smarter than you, 
they just appear that way because they've just had more math. So sure, they know more math than you, but it doesn't mean that they're naturally better than you are. But smart people have this curse of early success because what happens is these people who are really good and they've always been good, eventually they will get to a math class where they will get destroyed or at least they will have to work extremely hard. I know, I've seen it. I've seen it. As an undergrad, I was pretty good. I always wanted to be number one. I always wanted to have the top score. I always wanted to be the best. I was very competitive. And that was a way for me to get a good grade because uh, I would just try to be the best. I told myself, why not? Why can't I be number one? Let me try to be the best I can. Let me do my best, right? This is my one shot in life, my one shot in this advanced calculus class. Let me be number one. Was I number one in advanced calculus? No, I was not, <laughs> right? But I tried. But I tried, and that's what matters, right? That's what matters. And so these people who have always been good, when they get to these really hard classes, like advanced calculus, that's when they really have to start working hard. And sometimes they can't handle it, right? They, they fall apart. Sometimes they fall apart in courses before that. I've seen students who are really good at mathematics and they'll get to a, a calculus class, like a Calc 2 class, Calc 3 class, and they, they've had Calc 1, but they haven't had Calc 2. And when they get to the new material, they, they just really struggle, right? It's because all of a sudden it got harder and they were just used to everything making sense their whole lives because they're naturally smart. Whereas a person who has struggled their entire life, they have the calluses on their hands from doing the mathematics, right? They, they have put in the blood, sweat, and tears. They've grinded a lot more than the smart person. So the person who is not as smart, oftentimes, well, they have to work way harder than the smart people, right? So they have that grit and determination that the person who is naturally gifted does not have. So watch out for that, right? Make sure you work really, really hard if you're smart. And I'm not saying if you're smart, you don't have work ethic. That, that's, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyone who's watching this video right now is thinking, well, I work really hard, I'm smart, and I'm sure you do, right? I'm sure you do. But just watch out for that, right? Don't let it defeat you. Making things too complicated is another reason that smart people fail. And this applies not just in mathematics, but in life. You know, if, if you're trying to do something in the world or accomplish a task, something that will help you in some way in your life, a lot of times you look at that task and you say, okay, I have to do X, Y, and Z to do this, but I don't know how to do Z. I can do X and Y, but I can't do Z. So I'm just not gonna do it. Which is okay, it's valid. You can make choices, you can make decisions. It's your life. But keep in mind that sometimes the path is not clear. You know, it's like if you sit down to do a math proof, you look at the question, you don't know how to do it, but you still try, you still start the problem, you still start working through the math problem. Even though you don't know the solution, you start solving the problem. The same thing applies to life. Even though you don't have all the answers, if you know what you wanna do, you need to start working on it right now. You might not have all the steps, but who does? In any complex process, in anything that is really meaningful that you're going to do in your life, how are you gonna know all of the steps? Right? If it was that easy, everyone would do it, right? So you have to jump in and grind and hope for the best. And hopefully you have some luck. And I've found that the harder you work, the more luck you have. And that's not my quote, that's someone else's quote that I read somewhere, and it's, it's beautiful, but it's true. So jump in, and of course, stop being afraid. There's really a knowledge action gap with, with a lot of smart people too. I think that they know what to do, you know, but they, they just don't have the action to follow it up, right? They don't do it for whatever reason. They overthink overcomplicate, or they're afraid of failure, they're afraid of looking dumb because they always want to look smart. There's all kinds of reasons. And I still think fear is the biggest one, right? Fear of any of those things that I said, right? It's all about fear, right? Being afraid to take charge of your life, being afraid to conquer that mathematics, being afraid to take that hard class, being afraid to apply for that job that you know you really want, right? being afraid to go to the gym and work out, Stop being afraid, don't fail. And if you're not that smart, if you feel like you're not as good as many people, I mean, 
these things apply to you too, but hopefully after watching this video, you have some inspiration, you have some guidance, and you know what to do. Stop being afraid. If, if there's something you want to do, go do it. Anyways, I should end this video. If you want to learn mathematics, check out my courses. They're actually on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. But if you get them, please use the links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com. It helps me greatly, and I've lowered the prices to the bare minimum. As always, keep doing mathematics, and remember, stop being afraid. You can do it.